Number 78. Consider this scenario and answer the following questions. Okay. Chlorine atoms resulting from decomposition of chlorofluoromethanes, such as CCl2F2, catalyze the decomposition of ozone in the atmosphere. One simplified mechanism for the decomposition is this. Now, we know that it's a mechanism, right? They said that it was a mechanism because a mechanism is like a recipe where they give you the individual steps. So this is a three-step process. Now, for letter A, it says, explain why the chlorine atoms are catalysts in the uh, gas phase transformation of 2O3 yields 3O2. All right. So we need to just explain why the chlorine atoms are acting as the catalysts. Now, in here, right, in our mechanism, the chlorine atoms are just going to be Cl. Right, chlorine atoms, Cl. I don't see any Cl2s here, so it can't be that. So it's got to be just the Cl. Now, we have to go back to our mechanism to see where the chlorine atoms are mentioned. And the chlorine atoms are mentioned in the second step, which they have the Cl, and then they have the Cl again on this side. I am not talking about the ClO because that's a compound. That is not just the chlorine atoms. We are only focusing on the chlorine atoms, which is just the Cl. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to state those two steps. I don't care about the first step because that has nothing to do with the chlorine atoms. So we'll say step two is going to be O3 plus the Cl yields O2 plus ClO. And then for the third step, and I'm only just writing this just because, you know, we're making it bigger so that we can work with it. ClO plus O yields Cl plus O2. Okay. Now, we said uh, that here was the chlorine atom, and then here was the chlorine atom as well. Now, why is this acting as a catalyst? Well, just know that catalysts are always used and then made. So in essence, they are always going to be regenerated. If you make something at the end of the day, you can then use that up. But then through the steps, if it's made again, it will be used. And it's kind of like this, you know, endless cycle of making something that you can use, then you make it again, then you use it again, then you make it again, then you use it again, and it keeps going on and on and on and on and on. So that's what a catalyst is. It's always used up first, and then it is made. Now, in order to see this on a, you know, on a mechanism, the using up, if you use something up, that's always going to be on your reactant side, or we'll say R, right? R for reactants. So a catalyst is always going to be on the reactant side first, and then if you make it, remember, you always make your products. So product side last. So let's see. Let's focus in on those chlorines. The chlorine in step number two is on the reactant side. So it was used. And then in the later step, it now is on the product side. So it was made. A catalyst will always be, if we have the two yields, a catalyst will always be used up. Catalyst. And then it will be on the product side. So a catalyst will always be on the reactant side first because that's the using up portion. And then it will be made and that's the product side. So explain why the chlorine atoms are catalysts in this transformation. Basically what we just said here, that the chlorine is used first and then made. So the Cl atoms are used first and then made. So in essence, since you make them again, it is regenerative.
So you can then use it again to make it again. And just like we said before, regen, oh boy. Can we spell? No. Regenerated. Now, just know that a intermediate is the complete opposite. An intermediate will be made and then used. So they will be shown on the product side first and then the reactant side. But for catalysts, it's reactant side first and then products. Now just know that they're asking you for this transformation, but if we added up all of these three steps and we came up with a general reaction, that's what this is. Because things that are on the left side and the right side will overall cancel out. Your catalyst will cancel out and your intermediates will also cancel out. So your CLs go bye-bye. I notice that I have just oxygens. And you can skip steps as well, but just as long as one's on the right side, one's on the left side, they cancel. The CLOs are also on the left and the right side, so that cancels. And then look at what you have left. You have two O3s. So that's this. And then you got three O2s. So that reaction on the bottom is just the general overall reaction of the three steps. But there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you want to, you could become a member. We just opened memberships. Um, any help, you know, we greatly appreciate you guys. And we thank you so much for your support. Keep studying hard. I believe in you guys and good luck on your tests and quizzes. I will talk to you soon. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.